Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to show you how to use a crush sleeve eliminator. So this here's a regular crush sleeve that you would use. I didn't want to use this. I thought it'd be easier to use a crush sleeve eliminator. Now it look it uh, this is a crush sleeve eliminator and it comes with shims to to get it set just right. It just slides down here in place of the crush sleeve. And then I've already I've already done this, so I got the proper amount of shims that I need. So we'll feed this up through. Now, I found out about these crushed sleeve eliminators on the internet, but one thing I couldn't find out is exactly how it works. And uh, I actually struggled with it at first, but I kind of figured it out now. Okay, so I got my torque wrench set for 40 foot-pounds. I'm just going to tighten it up by hand here. Now what I found was 40 foot-pounds is a good place to start. Okay. So at 40 foot-pounds you should start feeling a little bit of drag on your pinion bearings. And uh, you probably still won't be where you, where you need to be, so we'll step it up to 60 foot-pounds. And by 60 foot-pounds you should have all the pinion preload. Okay, that there should be my pinion preload. Now, if you didn't have any preload, that would mean that you uh, got too many shims, you're gonna have to remove one. And if you got too much pinion preload, that means you're gonna have to add a shim. And it comes with a whole bunch of extra shims like this, and they're different thicknesses. They have some that are paper thin. So like I said, if you don't have enough pinion preload by the time you put 60 foot pounds on the nut, then uh, you got too many shims in there. You have to remove one. It's best to remove the smallest one first instead of making big changes and just keep doing this over and over. Now, right now, I got the uh, good uh, pinion preload on it. So you just have to keep going, doing it over and over till you get the right amount of preload. Okay, once you've, once you've measured the right amount of preload, so now I'll go up to 100 just to be absolutely sure. Because if you didn't have the right amount in there, it would get tighter. And then you'd know that uh, you need more shims. And most people recommend not using an impact gun on this. So that's now 100 foot-pounds. Pinion preload still the same. So then I'll take it up to 120 foot-pounds. And when I'm done, I'll have it, I'll take it up to 140. Plus I'm gonna use Loctite on it when I do the final assembly. Yep, pinion preload still the same as it was. So anyway guys, it's probably not the best explanation, but I couldn't find any explanation on the internet. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. I hope this helps someone out and we'll catch you in the next one.